In order for design to be well constructed, it needs to have three things. It needs to have usability, utility and beauty. And I think that ties in particularly with the desires of the Science Museum. And we look to try and emulate that through um, the wireframing and the concepts that we produce for them. I think the mark of good design is when it gets out of the way that people don't even notice that it's there. There's a quote by Arthur C. Clarke which is particularly relevant to digital design because it's saying that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And I quite like that because it's talking about not just the interactions and the journey, but the fact that the whole process is something that you can't really understand how it was done. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's the mark of um, a great piece of design. So my background's in classical animation, which meant that I learned to create and come up with ideas with pencil and paper. Now here we are in 2014 and working in digital, I still find that that's the best way to go through ideas quickly and to capture ideas. When I decided with the Science Museum that we needed to recommend a completely different approach, I didn't want to make out that we got to the end state in five seconds, that actually there's still some thinking to be done. So what we did was, is I just decided to sketch out my ideas, just scan them in, and that's what we sent through as part of our proposal. So after the site went live, what was really nice that we saw there was the increased traffic to the site, but people were actually spending a lot longer on there, which we know then translated into people spending more time in the museum. But from our point of view, what was even nicer was that actually the science team then got a call from Apple saying, can we use your new website in our advertising campaign? And from my point of view, um, there's no bigger pat on the back than when you're getting one from uh, the likes of Johnny and the guy.